Hey everyone, and welcome back to the video. So in this video, I'm going to share with you 40 base sales, 1 on the 9th of our sale, and 3 on the 10th. So here we go. Now this is a Briggs & Strand Mower Engine Sump Cover 493279B. This sold for $18.99 free shipping. And I had an offer on this for $10 free shipping. And I said I'm not going to ship it out to West Coast for $10. Free shipping because that'd be a lot. Mm -hmm. I shipped it like flat rate, hanging out know, flat rate envelope. The cheapest way I could. And it would be like seven fifty two to ship it. And guess what? I'd still be losing. I'd be barely making anything. You know, I shipped it that way. The same. So. I'm like, mm. I'll, I'll do a dollar off, and that's why that I did. I did a dollar off, and they took it. I think this person just wanted a deal of any sort. And bit biting on it right away. And so I'm happy to see it. So, 18 and appreciate it. Made $3.50 profit. But, it is what it is with these lumber parts. Some lumber parts, you, can, you don't know what, your, what the value is of these parts, though. You don't know. Like... When I look these up, like, I know the values of certain parts if they're common. And I know the part, common part numbers because they'll sell. But a lot of these sums, like, I don't know. Like, I could have a sum that say, like, $40.99 and free shipping or $40.99 and plus shipping out of the blue. Like, I had a crankshaft that was $40.99 plus shipping out of the blue. And I had some, like, last year that sold for, like, $40.99 and free shipping or... When I sold for like forty nine ninety free shipping, I took it off for like forty five bucks, free shipping on it. And yeah, I can find the holy girls like that. I can find some holy girls in book lots. And I pick up, you know, gosh, I was like, pick up a whole huge box. Yeah, there's some I list individually. Yeah, there is. There are holy grails. Then you have like the holy grail, like individuals. Then you have like the, like ones that are really good as like. A lot of, like, by author. Or a lot of by series. And they may not be the best to, like, list individually. But they're really good to, like, lot up in, like, a bulk. And I can lot up in bulk. A uh, big lot. And still make pretty, still make out on them. And then you just have ones that are the kind of stragglers. They don't sell well. At all. But you can still find a way to move them in, like... A generic lot or something like that, say. Mm -hmm. And same with these parts, you know. Same with anything you saw, you know. Oh, you know, you gotta find a. And honestly, I'd rather s the stuff that, you know, you can make, say, five dollars profit on. Bram, so you buy nine for a dollar. And it costs, say, you can see you can buy it for a dollar on at a garage sale or a thrift store or whatever. You can sell it on eBay for say ten dollars plus shipping. And to make that five to seven dollar profit range. Honestly, I'd rather sell hundreds for five dollars a piece. Say ten for fifty. And you might be thinking what? But you gotta have a fact. But honestly, um, it helps out the algorithm. Get more sales. It helps out the algorithm. From one, funnels out. I'm seeing you got other sales. So your account gets fed more. Two, you get more feedbacks in your account. Or two, because you don't know your feedbacks will grow faster. We sell higher, lower dollar items. You know, you more people leave feedbacks because you have more buyers. And then also, the higher end names, you might not be in as many combined orders. You multi quantity, like people buy multiple names from you. If you have, say, high, lower price names, they might be one that's say, about oh, two, ten dollars plus shipping. And say, only one, but do one fifty dollar name. You know, so you know, more people buy names. Multiple times from you, so you actually 
make a make out a little more on about the quantities than you do two singles because you're not paying the thirty cent fee twice, you know. Thirty cent processing fee tw two times. You're only paying it one time. So but you know, here's what it is though. But you know this is a set of three dinner plates. Scroll, forget me not. Ten quarter inch moving. He's over eight forty nine. Plus the cost of shipping. And these actually made eight dollar fifty cent profit. And this took six months five months to sell. Pick these up in like the end of twenty twenty one. And twenty twenty two I had something for eight forty nine. But I think that's just the economy, bad economy doing these because I used to not sell a bunch of plates, I wasn't selling plates hot. I sold a couple plates on eBay. Um, a Princeton Minnesota church plate took about a month for twenty bucks plus ship nineteen and plus shipping. They sold us have a modules for twenty twenty one fifty nine I think plus shipping. I think I sold some for two for, for twenty thirty nine plus shipping or maybe yeah, it's it was I think it was fifty it was twenty three and they sent me an offer of fifteen plus shipping I took it. And some coral coffee mugs they sold for like six plus shipping. Then another set of four I sold for eight plus shipping. These are sold for asking price. Well, it was on the sale, but it was my full asking price, I think. Okay. 849 plus shipping, so. But it is what it is, though. Honestly, these. And it's just probably because the economy is bad. Any people were more willing to buy these plates that they broke, you know, used, because it's cheaper than, say, buying brand new. Because maybe they used to be able to buy them brand new. Or, say, say buy a plate, and it cost them 20 in the store to cost them $25, $25, well, they might buy it now, I might say, with the inflation, it cost them 35 or 40 and well, then they're going to want eBay to buy that same plate used for, say, $25, or, you know, they use, say, they used to buy that, or they used to buy a set of, say, two or three for, say, $25, on eBay, now with inflation, I have to say 35 or 40 used. Well, you know, and that's probably what, you know, now they might be buying lower brands, still trying to pay that their cost before, you know, they're buying different brands. Then they normally won't buy it, probably, and they're still getting, still paying the same price. They're just getting a different brand. You know, they're stuck in a high-end brand. Or the brand they're used to in, you know. But, and honestly, you know, you're not a storage unit either, though. With these inventory, that's why I'd rather sell a ton of, like, lower items. Because you're not a storage unit, for one. And two, you know, you know how a lot of money to in the inventory if you spend, if you have, say, a lot of ten dollar items in your store, twenty dollar items in your store. You know, you can buy them items for like a couple bucks at yard sales, thrift stores, garage sales, you know, yard sales, seat sales, flea markets, auction house, you know, for like a couple bucks an item. You know, so. But yeah, but this is MTD. One more lower handle. It's at least seven four nine zero four six zero eight eight zero six three seven. With no, bolts and knobs. These sold for nine plus cost of shipping. And on this, I could have had some left for me. I had a system at nine ninety. Sorry for me nine. I could have been like, I'm gonna sell them for nine forty nine. But it's like, I don't know if I really want to be a drip. Like, you know, I'll just take the nine dollars. The counter, then I won't. You may not come back and accept it. You might, like, you know, I'll sell it. So I did, and I made an eight dollar profit, and only took a couple weeks. This is off the brute push I believe, and this is off the brute push I believe as well. There's an empty craftsman upper bell, upper air bell, seven four seven, and zero five one eight four D. It's sold for eleven ninety nine free shipping, and I made about five seventy five profit. So well, again, like I said, took a couple weeks, and yeah.
And yeah, like I said, you know, thinking to me, and it's like I'm saying, you know, I'm not gonna make like a few dollars profit like this. I mean, these coffee cups I've had for since December 31st, I've had them for like five months, honestly, like over five months, five and a half months, but. I mean, I'm not making a huge profit with these plates. I'm not making a huge profit on them. If I sell, I'm saying eight dollars profit on them. I'm not making a huge profit on them, but you know, but you know, it's low risk. You know, and unless something breaks, unless these break or something in shipping, you know, I'm going to, you know. Have you know they're low risk, you know, with low value, you know, you're not gonna get returns as much, and you still do get returns with lower value items. I mean, I have had returns like two iFitness fans, they bought the wrong thing, they thought, oh, they found their watch, and they didn't, and uh, we never return them, you know. So, you have people like that, they'll still return low value items, but you don't get like return scams with lower value items. Don't have people like saying like, "Oh, I'm gonna try to scam me, scam you." Out of say, ten. I would say, "Oh, it's ten dollars plus shipping," and say it costs ten dollars plus ten dollars shipping, so it's twenty dollars. And I can say, "Oh, I'm gonna scam you." You know, scam you on a twenty dollar. Yeah, sure. You it happens. You have scammers on a twenty dollar. But it's like people aren't gonna scam you on say a twenty dollar item. As often as they would say that hundred that I mean, they paid a hundred dollars for. You know, so it is what it is, so you know, so yeah. I mean no more stuff to pack up but you know. But but you're not getting scanned as much, so it's kinda worth it though. But yeah, it's exciting. Take care.